Robert Schooley and Kim Prather help make the case that the coronavirus has spread so efficiently because it's passed along by small aerosols that are released simply by breathing or talking. The researchers liken these aerosols to secondhand smoke, and Schooley says the science is definitive. Uh, this is not a virus transmitted primarily by droplets at close range or by touching things. It's primarily transmitted when we breathe. Uh, uh, if we breathe in air that someone who has uh, the virus has breathed out, the virus gets into our lungs and uh, the disease can start. The Lancet article examined 25 peer-reviewed studies that the authors say prove aerosol transmission is the primary pathway to infection. Jose Jimenez is a chemist at the University of Colorado. He says science does not support contamination from surfaces or coughing and sneezing. There is actually a, a shocking lack of evidence for the pathways that CDC and WHO say they are major. Jimenez says the risk of infection rises dramatically indoors, and the Centers for Disease Control needs to update its guidance. They are quite a bit behind the science, and they need to update the recommendations because some of the things that they are saying are not sufficient. The co-authors hope publishing their findings in a major peer-reviewed journal like The Lancet helps convince public health officials to improve their advice. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.